cloudy out here. It's been raining for the past couple hours or whatever. Um, oh, I got some some signs in the heavens that I want to share with you guys. So remember, I don't even know if you can hear me right now. Okay, I pray you can hear me. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Shalom, my brothers and sisters, to the house of Israel, Jews and Gentiles. Give honor and praise to the Most High for um, His Word and for His Son and for the Holy Mother. Okay, now, I got some signs that I, some signs in the heavens that I want to share with you guys. This is no rapture dates. Please do not go out using these dates and saying the rapture is going to happen on that date because we don't know, okay? And even if I did know, I wouldn't tell you. Only because when you constantly give the rapture dates, like you're setting yourself up to for it not to happen. And so <laughs> so I just want you guys to know if you share the date, it might not happen because you guys are sharing it. You're not supposed to share it. You're only supposed to share the signs in the heavens, the things that are supposed to be happening. And that's what he told us to pay attention to. The stars, the sun, and the moon. Because they were for signs and seasons, okay? And if you know that they're for signs and seasons, then you shouldn't be sharing it. Oh, this is the rapture date. Ah. The father showed me this. Uh, November 14th back 2016 I didn't know what it meant I didn't know what it meant you know what I'm saying or <laughs> you can't be like that and then you're gonna go put it on your channel as if you got a confirmation from the Lord oh my goodness how many dates are you guys gonna set up with that he's gonna keep showing you that as long as you share the date he's not gonna come on the day <laughs> I'm trying to tell you I'm trying to tell you I had to learn from my own mistakes. So please, please, please. These are just signs, signs in the heavens. Okay, my paper's kinda dirty, okay? So these are just signs in the heavens, okay? There's no rapture in these. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When the signs play out in the firmament, they later on play out in the earth. So. Let's get to it. Now, don't think I'm crazy when I start sharing this and you're going to be like, oh my goodness, she has so many signs. It got to be it. No, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, please. All right. Okay, our first sign is that we had was August 21st, which was Pentecost. Okay. Which would be considered to be Yahushua's birth, right? Okay. August 21st was the eclipse, the sign of Neva, and which gave America 40 days to repent, which America did not repent. They went outside and laughed and played in the eclipse. Ooh, it's something sweet to see. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Nobody's going to school this day. <laughs> Nobody's going to do anything but go see this eclipse. We're going to leave our homes and travel outside. Well, you guys don't know that my son prophesied against that eclipse um, and that the devil was supposed to come out of it as the red dragon and we fooled his plans because I posted the video and it went viral so I'm always gonna come out with the enemy's plans and stop him from um, from trying to whatever plan he got trust me it gets revealed 
and we come with a video which knocks out his plan and he gotta come a different way. You understand what I'm saying? I don't wait around so he can do his plan. I'm gonna tell the world so they could be have heads up. So that's my mission as the watchtower, the tower of the flock, Mary Magdalene. This is the signs in the heavens as it is. September 23rd was the sign with the woman clothed with the sun with the moon under her feet. And the second sign was the red dragon. And even though we haven't seen this dragon, we've seen him celestial in the pictures and stuff online from NASA's website. Okay. And from September 23rd to November 2nd, okay, was the 40 days. Um, or to me would be considered the, even though it's 40 days, it, 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 where I'm coming from, it would be 40 weeks, but it's 40 days. But I want you guys to keep in your mind 40 weeks, okay? Okay. So, both, I want you guys to understand what I'm about to say to you. Both Jupiter and Venus had to be born from Virgo in order for this to take place, for everything to line up. So Jupiter was born first. And as I showed you guys, it Jupiter came out of the womb August 21st. Okay? So that was that was the first the first birth. The second birth occurred on November 2nd. I did a video and I'm gonna leave the link below. I'm not gonna forget <laughs> this time. I'm gonna go get it and put it below. I did a video saying that the, the bright morning star Venus will be born November 2nd on ancient um, Passover. I told you that we're in the southern, we're in the northern hemisphere, but there's also a southern hemisphere and they're celebrating their first month while we're in our seventh month. So at the same time, we're celebrating the seven month feast. We are also supposed to be celebrating the first month's feast because it's all in sync with each other, the seventh and the first month. So, Venus exited the moon on November 2nd. That was the second birth. It's the bright and morning star. Jupiter represents the, the king planet, right? Okay, so therefore, the morning star was born from Virgo's womb on November 2nd. And you would start your count from, on the third, the next day. So, the third plus eight days is eleven the 11th so eight days to circumcise the child would be the 11th now remember I showed you on my calendar remember I showed you on my calendar the days so let me show you again so you guys could understand all right Okay. We are now the eighth. Okay. And so ancient Passover started on the second of November. And then you add eight days from the third. Hey, be careful when you open that door. It's camera right there. Um, she sleep? No. Okay, so sorry about that. <clears throat> okay. So ancient Passover started on the second, okay? Now, the tabernacle starts on the 15th day, which was the fourth. And so if the baby's gonna be on the eighth day, the baby is circumcised. The eighth day, 
will fall on the 11th. And remember I made the video saying that 11-11 is the eighth day of tabernacles. Woohoo! Okay? It's Shimi Azarat. Okay? It's the great day. Um, this is why we need to keep up with the feast and know exactly when they're occurring um, because everybody's on these different schedules but no one's on the correct schedule and the father gave me this schedule so um, I'm trying to show you guys so so eight days later so the circumcision it was started from November 3rd to the circumcision would have happened on November 11th. Now, the last quarter, because someone had a dream online about the last quarter, and the last quarter is November 10th, which is the seventh day of Tabernacles. Okay? And there's going to be, on November 11th, there's going to be a, the moon and Regulus is going to have a conjunction where 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 regulus is actually covered regulus is actually covered from the moon and it will start at 707 and 17 seconds a.m in alaska and then you can um and anchor anchorage alaska so look up anchorage alaska and do the time difference so you can know in eastern time zone that's at 1107 a.m and 17 seconds eastern standard time and this is this um this conjunction of the moon and regulus is supposed to go until 11:25 a.m on the same day November 11th, which is the eighth day of Tabernacles, which is also the day that the child is circ male child is circumcised, and is also the great day. There's also going to be torrid meteor showers starting that night um, after midnight. Um, so the tenth, starting at midnight that night. At a, you know, it's going to be 11, 11 at midnight at a.m. Okay. And so then that will bring us to November 12th. And November 12th, um, we start talking about the birth star that's going to start on November 13th, 14th, and 15th, where both Jupiter and Venus will rise in the east at 0 0.05 conjunction, making the star of Bethlehem. And so this is the star. This is the birth. So this is the star. When he say, can, can I gu guide my sons with our tourists? You know what I'm saying? So this is, this is, this is it right here. This is the star of Bethlehem. And that star is going to be in the sky on both the 13th and the 14th and the 15th. And then on the 16th and the 17th, 16th, 17th and 18th, there's going to be meteors, the Leonids. And you can actually trace the Leonid meteors back to the sickle of the, of the lion, of Leo the lion. And... Leo rises over the eastern horizon at 1 a.m. on November 17th. Like some of us who have seen 1117, okay? Um, and there's that time, 1 a.m. And re remember, I told you, whatever day that it happens, the great escape. When the great escape happens, it's going to happen at 1 I don't know if it's 1 p.m. or 1 a.m., but I know it's night because the scripture says that at midnight, the call came out. And if the time is 1 a.m., then we're supposed to be waiting up every night, literally from the evening until the morning. And then somebody is supposed to have the next watch. There's supposed to be more than one of us that's supposed to help keep the watch. You're not supposed to do this by yourself because it's hard. You will fall asleep. And those who stay asleep on that night that this goes down will be turned to zombies. I'm sorry.
Zechariah chapter 14, please read that. You guys need to keep oil in your vessel. And you also need to have your oil lamps too. And you need to keep your wicks trimmed. So I suggest burning your oil, your lamps every night. And I suggest that you pray and you meditate on the word. And this is not a rapture video. This is just signs in the heavens. He told us to pay attention to the signs in the heavens. And so I'm giving you guys the message of the signs in the heavens. These are not rapture dates, but these are the signs that are going to later play on in the, in the earth. Just to let you know that is very significant for it's crazy how on the eighth day which is november 11th the male child will be circumcised and also it's the eighth day of tabernacles and it's 11 11. like how cool can that be and nobody is talking about it but i'm preaching the real truth here you guys got to be ready because any day any moment could be the rapture right so if any day and any moment could be the rapture don't you dare say he's tearing because he's right on time it's up to the father to decide when he releases the restrainer on the dragon once he releases the restrainer on the dragon and the dragon comes then all hell breaks loose in earth you understand what i'm saying so that's why I'm telling y'all to repent right now Why you still have a chance in the signs, okay? You want to repent because we're in the Revelation 12 sign. The child was just born on November 2nd. You guys got to understand. Then the birth started, the both, both births that occurred, now they're going to be a conjunction between both of these babies and it's going to make the Bethlehem star. Everything always happened in twos. Jacob and Esau, all the different people, all throughout history, there's always been two. Just like you have, you have Yahushua and then you have the ugly Antichrist. And so you got to understand things comes in twos. And so like there's literally no sky out here. It's like completely dark. Like you can't see no sun, no nothing. It's just cloudy. Like... You know, just clouds everywhere, just everywhere. So you guys got to understand that the signs in the heavens, these are not rapture days. Do not go put this on your page. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, if any one of you that come to my channel and you guys or share my video and you go on your, and I find out on your page that you are using the signs in the heavens, for rapture days, which is delaying our, my beloved from coming, I will personally be one of the ones to judge you because I am one of the 144,000 elect. So understand that you're causing us more distress out here when our people need to be delivered and they need to go home already. So you're keeping our people from going home. If you're ready to go home, stop sharing, saying, oh, the rapture is going to happen this day. The rapture is going to happen this day. Shit, the rapture could happen any day. It could happen any day. That means that we're supposed to be prepared every day. You don't understand. I want everybody to make it to the rapture. Everybody. Everybody. But it's everybody's not going to make it and the reason why everybody's not going to make it is because these people don't have jerusalem in their heart they don't have jerusalem in their heart i don't understand i want to go home i don't, don't want to be homeless no more i want to go home i want to go home and if you guys are sharing rapture dates i'm not going to go home and i rebuke you right now i want to go home you don't understand I was crying. I've been crying all week because I want to go home. You don't understand. I, 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 just, I have to go home. I have to. I have to go home. You guys don't understand. I have to go home. You don't understand how much I'm in love with Yahushua. He is my beloved. You don't have to believe me. 
but it's not for you to believe or I don't really care what you believe it's the truth and the truth shall set you free and I was crying a couple days ago because I was begging the father Excuse me.